Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Kevin Holbrook. With the release of 2017 and all of its new capabilities, we wanted to highlight tips and tricks from existing tools. Here are two of my favorite. One area where there is a potential for error is when fastening multiple components together. You must ensure the whole size and standard selected match. There is an assembly feature tool that will help you get the holes defined together. It's called the hole series. The hole series allows you to define the start hole, middle components, and end components by either creating a new hole or using an existing hole. Once you position the center point for the hole, you can define the start hole. This is very much like the hole wizard where we define counter bore, countersunk, or just clearance holes as well as slots. From here we can adjust the standard it's defined to and the fastener type that it goes into. In our case we're going to use a number six hex screw. Once the start hole is defined we can move on to the next tab which is for all the middle components. These middle components can be defined by the start hole or you can make adjustments to that clearance. Lastly we need to define the final hole. Defining the final hole is nothing more than selecting the end component, going down to the end conditions, maybe making adjustment to the depth of the tap, and accepting the hole. What happens with this tool is you get holes through all the components that you define the hole for. If we look at it in this case, you can see that there are four components that now have holes through them all in a single feature. My second tip has to do with simplification. When creating components that have a lot of detail, it's important to simplify. Here's a method to do so. Open up your part template in SOLIDWORKS. Go to the Configuration Manager and add a configuration called Simplified to your templates. This simplified configuration will be used down the line as we try to create simplified assemblies to eliminate levels of detail that's unnecessary for a assembly or a drawing. Once that's created, as you're developing parts, you can go to the simplified configuration that already exists because you use the template and remove the detail that's unnecessary as this goes up into upper levels of the assembly. Now you could, as you're creating these assemblies, create a configuration at the assembly level that will have all the simplified components. In this case, I've already done this with this air source assembly. Once open, you'll notice that there are configurations for a full version, which has a lot of detail, and a simplified version that has a reduced amount of detail which still gets the point across. Instead of creating all of these upper level assemblies with all the configurations already set to simplified, we have another tool. In the file open dialog, when you select the assembly, go down to the configurations pull down. You'll find an option called advanced. In an open advanced, you have the ability to tell the software specify the configurations that are going to open. If it opens the assembly in each component and it finds that configuration, it will immediately load it into the assembly, therefore automatically creating a simplified version of the assembly. Now why is this important? It's important because it affects our speed and efficiency in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, if we look here at our open times for the full version versus the simplified it's almost a third the rebuild times went from eight seconds down to four seconds and the amount of graphics hit on the graphics card is highly reduced and that's how you simplify thank you for attending another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip hope to see you soon don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.